We've all heard the saying, pressure makes diamonds. And while this may be true, we all know the intense feeling that pressure puts on us from time to time. When the pressure rises, oftentimes the ability to deliver under that pressure becomes remarkably difficult for most people. However, there are those who are able to withstand immense pressure to deliver excellent results. The rewards are all that much sweeter. One major example of those who do and don't perform under pressure are the contestants on the massively popular television series MasterChef. The show serves as a cooking competition, where chefs are pitted against each other in competition to create the most delicious dishes under a certain time constraint, as well as only having a set list of ingredients. Other than those stipulations, the contestants are free to use their imaginations and create whatever they desire. Hi everyone, welcome back to Food Mystic, your one-stop shop for all things food. Today, I'm going to discuss the various pressures of the contestant chefs on MasterChef and how they're able to withstand the pressure to use the provided ingredient list to come up with mouth-watering dishes that can win them the competition. Before we begin, if you find videos like this interesting and informative, please go ahead and hit the like button and more importantly, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Now, let's take a look at some of the ways that these chefs are able to craft unique and tasty dishes under the intense pressure of MasterChef, and how you can use these techniques to your advantage in your own kitchen. Recipe Knowledge This one should be easy enough to comprehend and understand, but a deep and wide knowledge of basic food principles and recipes goes a long way in helping MasterChef contestants rise above the heat of battle. By vastly narrowing the list of available ingredients as part of the show's rules, as well as adding in the surprise factor of not knowing the ingredients beforehand, MasterChef contestants must have a mental list of recipes that is extremely long and well rehearsed. One of the worst things you can do during the course of the competition is blank on a recipe and try to wing it. This strategy rarely works out in the contestants' favor, and can risk them looking bad to a national audience. Having a solid foundation of your knowledge of ingredient profiles and recipes allows contestants to have something to fall back on in times of immense pressure, something extremely common on the show. In your own kitchen, this is super important too. While the pressure felt to cook dinner on a Tuesday night won't feel nearly as suffocating as that of impressing world-renowned chefs, there is some beneficial overlap. Everyone has felt that oh-shoot moment where the day gets away from you and there's no time to get to the store and back. So, you have to use what you have, and this isn't always easy. Trust me, I've been there. Knowing how to create tasty dishes from a limited pool of ingredients in a pinch is a huge weapon for MasterChef contestants, and it can be in your own home as well. Cooking Fundamentals This semi-coincides with the last point, but MasterChef contestants must have an extremely solid understanding of the basic fundamentals of cooking. Many of the former chefs have divulged that most of their success during their time on the show came as a result of having spent hundreds of hours in a kitchen, meticulously perfecting recipes of all taste profiles. This bulletproof base layer of knowing your way around a kitchen, including simple things like making pasta, sauces, and other food bases, is something you should strive for as well. Whether you want to improve your cooking for hosting guests, or you just want to spice up meals for your family, there's always more to learn when it comes to the wide, beautiful world of cooking. And who knows, with a dedication to continually learning, you might just find yourself on MasterChef one day. Learn from mistakes Learning from mistakes that are made throughout the course of the competition is a hugely underrated tool at the disposal of would-be champions. And I'm not talking about just their own mistakes. While being able to recognize personal errors and adapt is certainly an important aspect in all aspects of life, I'm talking more about learning from the mistakes that your competitors make. Whether it's the mistakes made by those competing directly against you, or errors made in previous seasons, contestants need to be able to mentally mark them and be sure not to replicate them in their own cooking. If the top level of chefs around the world are learning from the mistakes of others, so should you. Don't let the pressure to be an awesome cook keep you from expanding your horizons. There are plenty of great examples of critical mistakes made throughout the past seasons of MasterChef. If you're ever watching, be sure to keep a mental record of the mistakes the chefs make so you can become the true master chef of your own kitchen. Respect your elders. Not just elders though, mentors too. 
Plenty of former MasterChef contestants have stated that one of the main factors that led them to being technically sound enough at cooking in order to appear on the show is that they had great mentors who were able to teach them tricks of the trade as well as pour confidence into them. Having good mentors in life is a must-have for anyone, but being in a competition against some of the best chefs in the world certainly calls for a need for them. Having chefs that have been there and done that and can share what their experience has taught them has been a huge help for former MasterChef contestants. And it can be a huge help for you, too. If you're ever at a friend's house for dinner and are wowed by one of their dishes, don't be timid. Feel free to ask them for the recipe or for tricks to getting it just right. Life is too short to be silent and not gain the knowledge that others have to give. Better yourself and your cooking skills by simply asking for help. This wealth of knowledge certainly helps MasterChef contestants stand up to the pressure and time crunch that they're subjected to as part of the competition. Be organized. I'm sure you probably already know this one way or another, but organization skills are vital in the kitchen. Some of the most successful former MasterChef contestants have all agreed that one secret tool helped them in moments of stress and crisis, organization, specifically list making. In times of immense pressure, like on the set of MasterChef, it can be a vital help to be able to take a moment to pause before starting to scramble and jot down a quick list of things that need to be done, and the order that they need to be done in. Being able to see all that is left to be done on paper can do a ton in helping to relieve the stress and anxiety mid-competition and can help contestants push through the pressure and deliver an immaculate result. For example, one former contestant said that he was told by a hosting chef to pause and make a list of the final few steps he needed to complete to get his dish done on time. The contestant had begun to scramble and was cutting corners, often a huge no-no in the world of culinary arts. He heeded the advice and was able to pause, take a breath, recalculate, and deliver a dish that wowed the judges. This is also great advice for the chefs in training watching this video. While our egos can often tell us that we'll be fine without meticulously reviewing the recipe and writing out step-by-step -step instructions for ourselves, it certainly serves you well to fight that urge and go the extra step to ensure that your process in the kitchen goes smoothly and the dishes that you create turn out top-notch. Stay in your lane. When in doubt, the best of the best MasterChef contestants stick to what they know best. Whatever that may be, it is uber important for them to have a specific niche that they are truly masters of to get the job done. The tasks asked of the contestants to complete on MasterChef are often extremely challenging, even for the most comfortable of chefs. Having a specific niche of dishes in their pocket bodes extremely well for them. There are a ton of examples of MasterChef competitors having a stable dish or genre of dishes to go to when their backs are against the wall. Having these dishes that they've perfected is a massive asset to have in the heat of the competition. This is also something that you can implement into your cooking routine. Whether it be Italian, French, Indian, or whatever cuisine you can think of, pick one that you both love to cook and love to eat and make a conscious effort to strive to become really, really good at it. Several things that you can do to improve your staple dishes are repeatedly cooking it, studying various recipes, and trying new tweaks to your recipe, asking fellow cooks about the way that they do things. While this may seem daunting, do not fret. Just like anything else, practice makes perfect. Well, it makes it a lot better at least. I absolutely love MasterChef, and oftentimes find myself picking up plenty of tips and tricks from the various contestants. I can honestly say that binge-watching the show has done wonders for my skills in the kitchen, and I've added so many yummy recipes to my repertoire as a direct result. I hope these tips help you out, and you're able to take away a newfound determination to always strive to learn and get better at cooking. There you have it. Some of the best strategies and practices used by MasterChef contestants to overcome the competition's extreme levels of pressure. What do you think? What is the best piece of advice you would give a MasterChef contestant in order to rise above the stress brought on by the pressure of the cameras and time constraints? And how do you think you'd fare if you were to go on the show? I'd love to hear all about it in the comments below. And while you're at it, don't forget to turn on all notifications by hitting that bell icon, so you'll never miss more of the interesting content like this that I'm constantly releasing. Back to win grand finale. So far in the appetizer round, tonight is your last chance to prove that you deserve the grand prize. And it's delicious.
Thank you. And the entree round. You're pushing the boundaries. You're testing our palates. It's clear that you know great flavors. Once again, I'm Food Mystic, your go-to source for interesting and intriguing food chronicles. Thanks for subscribing. Until next time.